Hey, yeah, I've got a new 78KC50 dial combination padlock here. 3 out of 10, but this, I'm, I am impressed with this new Avis padlock because the old version was shimmable, the new version is not. So the 3 out of 10 must be because of the 7mm shackle, but it's, it's a great lock and that it can't quickly be shimmed open. I've tried and I ruined a good shim trying to do it. It also claims that it's got something called cataphorenic coating which is meant to give it 40 years of corrosion protection. It's claimed not only the, the shackle is hardened but the steel body is as well and being Avis, it's you know it's probably not false claims. The, it's nice heavy lock made of steel, and it's still the version of the lock that has an override key. The override key can open all all sorts of these locks. A lot of these locks that have that are of the same type, even though, even though they have different combinations. The same override key will open all of them and in fact that's what I want to try and do. I don't have an override key, I want to see how easy it is to pick this. Just like the old one that I reviewed, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get into this without too much trouble. This is a W rake or triple pick or whatever you want to call it and so when I put in the rake like this, light tension on both the shackle and the rake. I'm, I'm using it more of a, of a, in a rocking motion, but I'm going a little bit in and out as I'm going up and down and pulsing that tension. I'm just pulsing that tension like this as I'm doing it. I'm going to start over, put that in. okay it's open there okay it didn't take too long even though it was on camera and you can see that it opens up now you might be able to see also if I take these out do you see that little groove there this is where a piece of metal goes up and stops shims and if that's what I could feel when I tried to put a shim down it just wasn't getting down there and so it's a really good design, simple but effective. Just an update on this, I'd shown earlier how I could rake this open with a low skilled raking attack. But what happens if someone doesn't have one of these? They can still get into this by bending a hair club or body bobby pin. I've bent, it, bent some, uh, for example, with some huge, um, <laughs> huge curves and they, it's still still manages to get in. You can see, see, do you see how we're talking some huge curves there and it's so big that I can also use it as a tensioner at the same time. Going up and down and twisting to the right and see it's, it opens. I think I've got it. I think I, yeah there it is. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, even though it's a solid lock, it's hard to decode because only the first number gives itself, I mean, so only the last number gives itself up, but not the first two. Anti-shim, but I don't like the locking mechanism. Thanks.